I'm going to show you how to sew a slipover the collar dog bandana. These are so simple and so easy to make, so let's get started. First, you will need a perfect square piece of fabric. The piece I'm using today is a 14 by 14 inch. You'll need something to measure with. Um, I like to use this little acrylic ruler. It works just fine, but so with a regular ruler, you'll need something to cut and trim with. And then you'll need an iron and, of course, your sewing machine. Let's get started. The very first thing I do when I start any sewing project is hit it with the iron and just get any wrinkles out that may be in there. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Then I fold mine wrong sides together and I fold my square into a triangle. And I just iron it to create a really nice seam across this across it there. Next, we're gonna fold in the corners. This is what is going to give us the little um, pocket for our collar to slip through. I like to fold in and measure this distance here, uh, one and three fourths inches. Um, I find that gives me plenty of space for seam allowance and also to comfortably fit a one inch collar through without getting caught or having to really like jam it through there. And then I just press that with the iron to give it a nice crease, and I do that on both sides. And then I actually like to take it, we've got these little flaps made. I like to open the whole thing up and put the right side of the fabric facing down and fold those flaps in again and use the iron one more time just to create a really nice solid line there so that it's easy when I get to the sewing machine. And then I will leave those folded in and fold it back over so that the wrong sides of the fabric are together and we just have those little corner pieces folded in. And you definitely could go over it one more time with the iron, with those flaps ironed down and fold it in. That's going to be your end shape. So it just helps everything stay nice and crisp and clean that way. Now that everything is nice and pressed, we're going to head over to the sewing machine. We're going to open up our bandana and do a top stitch along both of those sides that we just folded in. And I like to do the seam allowance of just the width of my presser foot. So now we've got those flaps folded down, sewed down, and then we're just going to take our scissors and cut those flaps off and then trim off any excess threads that we have. So now we've got this shape and we're going to fold it right sides together now so it'll be inside out and I like to iron once again just like I said earlier it just keeps everything really nice and clean and just I feel like produces a better final product when everything stays nice and lined up during the sewing process. We've got our bandana essentially just inside out at this point and we're going to take it back to the sewing machine and start where those other stitches ended and just sew along both of these edges and make sure you do not sew over these little flaps that we folded down because that is what creates your pocket for your collar to slip through. right side out. We'll just go ahead and trim any threads. You definitely don't have to do that. I just find those very annoying and I like to get them out of the way as soon as possible if I can. And then we're also going to trim this point 
so that they have a sharper point once we put it right side out. And then there is no good way to do this in any sewing project, but I just take my thumb inside one of those pockets and get it to the point. And then I take my pointer finger and just push and go right back out that same side pocket and then just kind of finagle it out that way. it's right side out and I like to take my scissors but if you do this with scissors just be careful because you don't want to bust your threads I go in one of those side pockets and I just push out on that tip until it's all the way right side out and I like to grab my iron and just run it over the whole project one more time All right, and there you have it. You have a nice Silver for the Color dog bandana. You just slide your collar on one side, pop it out the other. You definitely could do a top stitch on this if you wanted to, but it's not completely necessary. So I hope that you enjoyed making this and I hope that you and your dog love it. See you guys next time.